hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome my name is piso and i'm really glad that you're here today is the day that the work begins on the palava hut some people like to say palava house and some say palava hut but i like to say palava hut palava hut <laughs> and so today the work begins um these guys are here and they're gonna um begin um the work on that right now there's some measurements going on they're gonna take the um, measurements to get the um, symmetry for the circle and so it's really interesting how that's being done um, there are some lines being um, pulled and carry around to get the um, um, dimensions of what the circle you know the spacing between the circle and give it that perfect circle as you'll see in a little while here and so that's what they're doing the digging begins and look at that circle guys look how um perfectly round that circle is and this um comes directly from the measurements that they did and so i'm just um really in awe of how um beautiful the complete circle is i think as we move around you'll see it the um <clears throat> palava hut is not going to be overly big like that huge and it's not going to be that small either i think it's going to be the right size um for the space so it's just right down a little ways from the porch but enough spacing between the porch and the um palava house so and so <clears throat> you'll see it better um as um the built um gets carried on and so look at that circle look at how perfectly round that circle is that's just amazing to me and so the digging is done and what you see here is how we communicate where I want the doorways to go. So I would draw it on there and I would send it back to them on picture where I want the door. And they had to establish that before they move on to start doing other things. So that's how I established where I wanted them to have the doorway. I'm only going to have one doorway in there. And so now they're casting, uh, beginning to cast the foundation of the um, Palava Hut. And so the palava, um, the foundation um, casting is made with the crushed rock and the cement and the sand, and it's um, it's gonna be you know pretty um, pretty good and durable. And so that's what they're doing now. They're mixing the um, the crushed rock, the cement, and um, the sand, and they're gonna pour it in the um, foundation of the palava hut. And so that's what's going on right now. So right now they're um, putting the mixture in the um, floor of the foundation. And so and mixing it there in the wheelbarrow as they go, making sure that the consistency, you know, stays good. And um, yeah, this is what they're called. They're casting the foundation. And so that's what they're they're doing they're gonna um pour all that mixture all over the whole perimeter of the um foundation of the palava hut all right and here are some parts here that um has already been um cast and you know they're just working on um, smoothing it out and making sure that it's even and everything spread out evenly and so getting it ready for the next um, stage of the build so now the first layer of bricks are now being laid and um, the palava hut is actually starting to take shape a little bit we can actually see a little bit of um you know how the shape of it's going to be 
Um, so that's pretty exciting. Um, I like watching um, these guys work. I like to see the process. I like to see, um, you know, different processes of the build from um, the start to the beginning, how, uh, how actually things are done, how things come to be. Um, I learned, I've learned a lot through um, watching um, the videos or watching um, these guys um, do their work, watching it either in person or through the video or so. I'm very interested in um, how um, how they make things and how they um, <clears throat> start and finish all of the work that they do. And so I've actually learned a lot um, through different stages of the build, um, through building the house, um, when they were building the fence, um, different parts of this project. I have been, all of the process I've been very involved so I have actually learned a whole lot <laughs> doing um, the process of building the house and so here of course um, we had to refill sand we had to get some more sand and so the truck has delivered um, some sand here and so we're replenishing um, some of the one that we have so look here guys now um, the second layer of um, the bricks are now being laid. And so this is the part here where we're going to now determine how high we're going to have the Palava hut. And so, um, conversations were going back and forth between, um, us and the builder as to how high we wanted the Palava hut to be, how many steps, like when you approach it, how many steps are you going to step up? Are you going to be to enter the Palava hut? We know we didn't want it low to the ground. One step up, no. We know we wanted it to be a little bit high, high. Did we want it as high as the porch? Probably not, but we wanted it pretty close. So we had to determine with them and um, do a lot of video calls. <laughs> and so um, to determine how high we wanted the floor of the Palava hut to be how many step up um, we wanted it to be. And so what we actually did was we did um, some video calling where they lined up um, um, the bricks on top of this second layer to see if we wanted a third layer. And so, and then we would determine whether or not we wanted it to be that high. We wanted to stay, we wanted it to stay at this level, but as you can see, look at that circle. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my goodness. That this this whole stuff is looking so good already. I can't even contain myself. <laughs> and so I just love, love, love watching it. The circle, the circle is phenomenal. I just love it. Since I was a little girl, I've had a thing about um Palava Hut. I used to love, love um going into the Palava Hut, um, where we lived, there was a, a neighbor of ours that had a Palava Hut in their yard. And I used to just love, I just like the idea of it, you know, sitting in there and seeing people go by and just you're outside, um, you know, you're feeling the cold breeze, you're feeling the air, but yet you're like enclosed. It's like this little um, contained space. And I love it. Oh, right here is where we were determining, they were showing me on the video call um where how high it was going to be if we went another layer so this was part of that video call <laughs> that we were doing and that three brick on top there that you're seeing if we had gone um a third layer that's how high the palava hut um floor is going to be and we determined we didn't want it to be that high so we, we stayed at the second level because after casting it and after putting the layer of the um design that we're going to do it will still give it some height without having it a full brick um layer height so we determined we weren't going to do that all right um now this is the part where they're now um doing this um um project where they're actually going to um install this um wrap around that they're doing here it's made from wawa and also ceiling tiles 
so they kind of nail the ceiling tile on the wawa and they're gonna wrap it around the exterior of the perimeter of the palava hut and i guess this is going and then they're gonna cast it and so that's gonna be like a wrap you know they're gonna tie it i think that's what they call they're gonna tie it this is what how they're gonna tie the the um frame of the palava hut and as you can see this is what they're doing now and he's gonna flip it so that you can see what it looks like they're gonna flip it so yeah they're gonna take it all the way around the frame of the out skirts of the the out um the outside of the palava hut yeah and that's what they're going to do and you see those openings between the bricks that's where the pillars are going to go all those spacings that's where the pillars that's gonna um be um part of the um um frame of the palava hut those are where the pillars are going to go so now this is what it looks like all wrapped up and um so this is the um you know they've wrapped it up and they've tied it they've tied it and so this is what it looks like right now so it's tied up right now and it's ready for us to get some dirt to fill in the foundation and now here is the truckload of dirt that um has been delivered and um it's not able to be delivered in uh, on the inside of the fence, so they had to um, bring the dirt where it will be um, dumped right in front of the um, the yard. And um, so you see the truck is um, yeah, dumping that dirt right out there. So it's going to be a lot of work now to get that dirt inside of the fence um in a timely manner and also um so that it doesn't stay outside and risk um you know people just helping themselves to it and also you know it's needed um right away for um the um foundation to be filled the palava hut we need it right away to fill it fill in the foundation of the palava hut so um now it's the task of getting that dirt um, inside of the fence. So that's what's being done here. And it's a, you know, it's a tedious task <laughs> here. All hands on board. Um, so that's my uh, son right there. And um, Queenie, the project manager, um, getting the dirt um in the wheelbarrow and it's being taken inside of the fence and so trying to get it all in there before the end of the day and so everybody was helping out that day to get that done and so as we see here the as the um, dirt is being wheeled inside of the fence it's being carried all the way in and it's going to be poured and dumped right in to the um, foundation of the Palava hut and you can see that the um, wrap has been moved it's all around now um, it's been peeled away from the um, foundation of the Palava hut and so that's it so the goal next is to erect the pillars and um, place them in these designated um, spaces that you see here and hopefully have it look like this um, pillars that we have on the porches. And so we'll see. Thanks for watching, guys. Please don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. And I will see you in the next video, guys. Bye.